Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to replace your laptop screen on a Toshiba Satellite L645D S4030. And the tools you're going to need today is you're going to need a small screwdriver to unscrew the screws in your laptop screen, as well as a flathead screwdriver to help get the screen cover off. And this is what your screen should look like. And there's black tabs on each corner of the screen. I went ahead and took those off. Um, they're very easy to take off. And you can use this small flathead screwdriver that helps get them off really easily. That's the first step that you're going to take. Now, the second step that you're going to take is to make sure you've unplugged your laptop and removed the battery. Because you do not need to be electrocuting yourself while doing this. next thing that you want to do is you want to carefully loosen this black casing around the screen. So I found it easy to take the flathead screwdriver and kind of find a corner and just kind of work with it and you can loosen it. And you shouldn't have to worry unless you do it really hard, you're not going to crack the casing or anything. So just be really gentle with it and it'll be fine. Right, now at this point, after you've loosened all the sides of the screen protector, you just want to lean the screen back as far as possible. And then you can slowly remove this top part of the screen protector. Just be careful when taking off the bottom because you don't want to crack it. And you can just lift it up like so on each side. Let's go ahead and set that aside over here. Now you see that the laptop screen is exposed. Next, what you want to do is there's four screws on each side. Right there, right there, right there, and right there. So you go ahead and take your screwdriver again, and you'll loosen these screws. Now, these screws are also smaller than the previous screws, so just know that the darker, smaller screws are the ones that actually hold the screen in place and the larger silver screws are the ones that hold the screen protector in place. Alright, the next thing you want to do is put something here to protect your keyboard um, when you pull the screen off. So I'm just using the old screen casing that I have here. And I'm going to go ahead and take this very carefully and pull the top part and lay it carefully straight down on the plastic. And this is what you'll have. And what you notice here is you have a little strip that holds the connection from the screen to the rest of the laptop. And that's what actually sends the display to the screen. So next you want to carefully remove this tape, very carefully. Because you'll need this tape again to tape it back on the new laptop screen. It actually may be better to use some of your own tape um, when you put your new screen on because this one is just not coming off easily at all. And I imagine it'll do the same thing for your laptop as well. We're going to actually get this really quick. And as I said before, you want to go ahead and move the t take the tape off that was right here. Then you want to carefully, carefully slide this piece out from where it's at in here very very carefully because this is what you're going to need to use to reconnect your new laptop screen 
very carefully. I cannot stress that enough. I've almost got it removed here. Right, now that we've got that removed, we'll take the old laptop screen, make sure all the tape is off first. Take the old laptop screen and set it aside. And here I'd like to show you how my new laptop screen came packaged. It was packaged very well by laptopscreens.com. Gonna go ahead and unwrap it here. And here's the piece that you ultimately wanted to remove from your old screen very carefully. Here I'm unwrapping the new laptop screen. You want to carefully remove this cover that's on the front. Again, take something soft, place your laptop screen face down, slide it close, and then take your piece right here and carefully slide it in. Now that we've got that piece in place, make sure that it's in there secure, and take your piece of tape and carefully place over top and give it a, a gentle push on there and then now that you have that in place you're able to fold your new screen on top of the laptop and once you have that in place all you need to do is go through and put your screws back in and then replace the cover and then put your screws that go through the cover in and then plug in your laptop, fire it up, and it should be working for you. Right now we're just putting the screws in to the screen. And I've already put the two, one up here, one up here. These are the smaller black screws. Again, you want to make sure your screen is lined up to this silver bar over here. And the last step in fixing your computer is putting this back on. Simple cover. Very easy to put on. You just slide it in right here. Very easy to just sit down in there in place. And then you line it up with the rest of the laptop and you very gently just snap it to lock it in place. The bottom's a little bit more difficult to do, but it's not too difficult. A screwdriver may help you. You can actually get close to shutting it and coming to the back here, snapping that in place. And then all you have to do is start screwing in your screws on each of the four corners. Just as an example for everyone, here's my new working screen.